Hello, thank you for joining us today. I'm gonna to be working on the lovely Heaven Lee, one of our newest and best models. And I am gonna be doing a video on neck massage using compression and trigger point technique. This is a shorter video just to share, you know, a few techniques that can be really effective when you're working on the neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. One of the simplest ways that you can get, um, that you can kind of grasp what um, compression really feels like is just, I've done this in several of my videos, but just pressing down on the shoulders in this position would be really helpful. So there's not one way to do um, compressions. You can do static compressions. You can um, include some movement when you're um, doing them and you know using compressions isn't effective on all you know on all body parts but when it comes to shoulders and certain muscles in the neck I, I always use them really just encouraging Heavenly to let herself sink into the table, relax those shoulders. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, so one of the best analogies that I heard when you're placing hands and when you're taking hands away, it's like you're, um, lifting off when you're flying a plane and then when you're landing. So you want to do it nice and slow and gradually, nothing too abrupt. So now that my hands are here, I'm going to do some compressions along the occipital ridge and I'm going to start pretty close to the ears and I'm just going to start doing little circles. And I'm using a consistent pressure <clears throat> in my left and right hands. And something that really helps me is uh, just staying really grounded in my own body. So especially when I'm doing more detailed work, I make sure that I'm breathing through my feet. I'm staying centered. Um, it's really easy, especially if you're a very sensitive person, to get kind of lost in other people's energy. So I'm just uh, kind of finding that balance. And just doing little circles and it might seem like I'm not doing very much, but this is one of the most effective techniques for this area that I've found. And I like to um, do some broader compressions on the mastoid process. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find a nice consistent pressure. If somebody's had struggling with whiplash um, or just severe tightness in that SEM, well, I really like doing this, especially if it's a new client. I don't like working on the SEM if there's contraindications to deep tissue like swelling or that kind of thing, but you can work indirectly and still be really effective. And I'm going to get, um, I'm going to start working a little more locally, so I'm just going to start Continue with these compressions along the occipital ridge and you can do these static or you can um, involve a little movement. It really is whatever feels the best to you. So I'm making sure that 
Evanly's head is supported with my left hand and I'm just pressing. You can press and hold. You definitely want to be um, working up to deep tissue. You don't want to go right in with really deep pressure. And you can move up and down. You can move side to side with these compressions. You don't need to be uh, mechanical about it. My favorite, usually when I'm working along the occipital ridge, is just little circles. And sometimes I'll do more vigorous circles if I'm um, have history with a client. Usually I'll I'll work a little more slowly if it's a new client. And just really find you might um, start to feel spots that feel a little more tight and you can just kind of go. I don't like to linger too long. I like to kind of go back and forth. Um, really important that you're present when you're doing this kind of work because definitely requires a good bit of concentration to do it effectively. And just for time's sake, I'm gonna um, just work on this right side and I encourage you at home to do both the right and left if you're um, gonna watch this video and then do it yourself. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, this is an effleurage technique, just really basic, but that's how I get the oil on. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some trigger point along this SEM. It's my favorite technique for um, going a little deeper into this muscle. So I like to use these three fingers. Um, I do a really solid warm up, um, just using you know, really basic effleurage. Just seeing how everything's responding first and how everything feels. I think this is, you know, a really important muscle to become friends with before you um, try to go too deep. And so, You have a lot of sensitivity in your finger pads. It's just, um, you can definitely start to sense what's going on here. And I'm gonna start to just hold and release on spots that feel a little more fibrous or contracted. And just being careful not to go too deep too fast. When I'm working on this SEM, I will definitely give my client a break in between this kind of work because it can be fairly painful. And I might, you know, revisit the suboccipitals a little bit and just give everything a chance to work together, breathe. I think one of the um, one of the mistakes that new therapists can make sometimes is like um, being too rigid about a routine. So like kind of saying, all right, I worked on this area and I'm going to work on this area and really working as organically as possible. So just kind of sensing the connection between the SEM and the suboccipitals and 
going back and forth if you need to. And uh, so as I kind of revisit this trigger point in here, I might start to go a little bit deeper. It just depends on um, how everything's responding. Just holding and releasing. Can hold up to 10 seconds. I'll usually hold for half that. If, if I even hold that long, do briefer holds along that muscle anyway. And I never end <laughs> with trigger point it just feels really abrupt so I'll end with something nice relaxed effleurage stroke just tying everything together and before I um, wrap up this massage I want to thank a few of our patrons I'd like to thank Vincent Stas and Tim DeHolio Thank you guys so much for your support. And no matter what kind of massage I'm doing, I really like to end with some compressions along the temple. Feels really nice. And it's a great way to wrap up a more intense session. And just slowly taking my hands away. And that is all for today. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. We do have a Patreon page if you want to explore some exclusive content. I look forward to seeing you there. If you enjoy these videos, please join us at PsycheTruthPatrons.com for dozens of exclusive videos and premium programs. We have over a thousand videos you won't find on YouTube, such as modeling and fashion hauls, exclusive massage videos, ASMR, behind the scenes, bloopers, and much more. It's a great way to help us keep the cameras rolling so we can continue making the content you love. Patrons will get two to three new exclusive videos each week, so I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon family today. Just visit PsycheTruthPatrons.com.